Hello and welcome to the Mr. CFD. This study investigates the combustion process of biomass waste in an industrial incinerator using computational fluid dynamics analysis. The simulation aims to understand the complex fluid dynamics, heat transfer, and chemical reactions within the incinerator, focusing on achieving uniform combustion on the rubbish surface. By employing advanced models for turbulence, species transport, and combustion, this research provides valuable insights into optimizing waste to energy processes and improving the efficiency of biomass incineration systems. The CFD simulations were conducted using ANSYS Fluent software. The geometry designed in ANSYS design modeler represents an industrial incinerator with multiple air and fuel inlets and two exhaust gas outlets. The computational domain includes a trapezoidal waste pile, air inlets, fuel inlets, and a cooling system. In addition, an unstructured mesh grid was carried out using ANSYS meshing software, and overall, 513,233 elements were generated. Now we get to the solution part of the simulation. In the method section, we use the coupled algorithm for pressure velocity coupling. The coupled algorithm solves the momentum and continuity equations simultaneously as a single system, providing superior performance and faster convergence compared to segregated algorithms, particularly in challenging cases involving strong pressure velocity coupling and rotating flows. Next, we have to set the discretization method of the equations. We set the discretization of pressure equation to the second order method, and for other equations, we use first order upwind method. Then we go to the controls section, which we can set under relaxation factors for the equations. The under relaxation factor is a numerical technique used in iterative solvers to improve convergence stability. This factor, typically between zero and one, helps prevent oscillations and divergence in the solution, especially for nonlinear problems or complex flows. We keep under relaxation factors default values for equations. In the Monitors tab, go to the Residuals. Residuals represent the imbalance in conservation equations for each variable being solved. For example, setting the residual value to 0.001 for equations means that the solution is considered converged when the scaled residuals fall below this threshold. This value indicates the acceptable level of error in the solution, with lower values generally resulting in more accurate results but potentially longer computation times. We don't need to change the default values of residuals. Okay, go to the initialization section. To solve the problem, the software asks us for initial values. We select the standard initialization in relative to cell zone for reference frame and click the initialize button. At the end, go to the run calculation section and enter 10,000 iteration and click on calculate button. The CFD simulation provided comprehensive insights into the thermal and fluid dynamic behavior of the biomass waste incinerator. The simulation results show a significant temperature gradient within the incinerator. The outlet chamber temperature, 4042.636 Kelvin, is considerably higher than the inlet temperature, 300 Kelvin, indicating effective heat generation and transfer in the main combustion zone. The average temperature inside the incinerator zone is equal to 2690.4 Kelvin. The velocity magnitude contours reveal complex flow patterns within the incinerator, with maximum velocities reaching 33.25 meters per second. These flow patterns play a crucial role in mixing air and fuel, as well as distributing heat throughout the chamber. The static temperature contours show peak temperatures exceeding 4,000 Kelvin in the main combustion zone, indicating intense reactions. The temperature distribution on the waste surface varies, with higher temperatures observed near the fuel inlets and in regions of good air-fuel mixing. The mass fraction contours for CH4 and CO2 provide insights into the combustion process. High concentrations of CH4 are observed near the fuel inlets, while CO2 concentrations increase in the post-combustion zones, indicating the progress of the reaction. 
The temperature-colored path lines illustrate the complex three-dimensional flow within the incinerator. They show how the air and fuel streams interact, mix, and combust, creating recirculation zones that enhance mixing and promote more complete combustion. The simulation results demonstrate the complex interplay between fluid flow, heat transfer, and chemical reactions in the biomass waste incinerator. The temperature gradients and species distributions highlight areas of efficient combustion, as well as potential zones for optimization. The flow patterns revealed by velocity contours and path lines suggest that careful design of inlet positions and flow rates is crucial for achieving uniform combustion on the rubbish surface. While the current design shows good overall performance, there is potential for further optimization. Adjusting the positions and flow rates of air and fuel inlets could lead to more uniform temperature distribution on the waste surface, potentially improving combustion efficiency and reducing emissions. To benefit from Mester CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mestercfd.com.